we're going as we go through here and he's teaching we're gonna find pause nothing he says there's nothing nothing let's go through here and you know he's he, he did all this other stuff and he's like there's nothing there's nothing here there's nothing here and uh he, he pulls everything out, blah, blah, blah. I get wrapped up. We go into uh, 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 after, what is that, post, post-care, post after surgery, such and such and t'other. Um, and, man, he comes out. He says, he says Mr. Detweiler, I, I don't know what happened. It was a mirror. He never said a coal. He never said a mirror coal. But he, he, he turned with an expression on his face of, he didn't understand anything that was going on. All he knows is it was a mirror. And his mouth opened, turned, and he walked out of the room. And all, the second he got out of the room, the nurse was like, it was a miracle. We've never seen anything like this. It, it, this was definitely a miracle. He just couldn't say it. He was about to say it, but there's no way that, that doctor was going to say that because he, he, he knows everything and he didn't know what was going on. Uh, but it was a miracle, and they just went on and on and on. And it was funny. I got back to I got back to my room. See, this is what happens when you receive redemption and have redemption walk through your timeline. If you get get Pastor Troy uh, Brewer's book, uh, Redeeming Your Timeline, and his workbook and and stuff, and go through that and get the get the revelation of uh, redeeming your timeline, because that's exactly what we did. Was we brought redemption into the 70s and 80s and all the things that I did that were destructive towards my heart and brought redemption into that and in redemption at the foot of the cross by the shed blood of Jesus Christ my heart was supernaturally fixed and and it was funny because the the next day doctor came in and uh, or later on that afternoon it was later on the afternoon I, I think I was released the same day I don't remember that part, but I remember the one doctor that had all, man, he had all the medications, everything all worked out. It was all worked out, man. He had it all worked out for the rest of my life. And he was so disappointed. I've never seen anybody so disappointed. He came in, he was so disappointed. He said, Mr. Detweiler, I'm so sorry, but you have a perfectly normal heart. I said, don't be sorry. I said, I'm pretty happy about the fact that I have a perfectly normal heart. And, uh, and yeah, so that that that's and that's a miracle story of the fact that I was I, I was never in fear. I was in the faith. I, I my my hope was in Jesus. Whether I uh, you know I know I know for a fact I'm not going to be here forever, but I know where I'm going to be forever and with whom I'm going to be with, and that's the hope every Christian should have in us. So. I could agree with the supernatural miracle, but what she did, now what she did was throw in uh, where she, she thought she's speaking faith, but she's speaking fear because the fact is that surgery is scheduled. So she said, no open heart surgery scheduled for next Thursday. Well, the fact is that it is scheduled. So that's not faith. That's not a faith statement. That's not how how you how you you'd pray because all you're doing you're just coming against a fact. That's the fact. Well, what's the truth? The truth is, by His stripes, my heart is healed. And so, I mean, if she wanted to, ha I mean, she could just go on the phone and cancel the surgery, and there'd be no open heart surgery scheduled for next Thursday. You know, and so I can't agree with no open heart surgery scheduled for next Thursday. She could just do that naturally. However, I can believe for the healing of her heart. I can believe her having a new heart. I have experienced having a perfectly normal heart from a heart that wasn't perfectly normal. Um, and they'll do post-op or pre-op uh, evaluation. And so I could agree with with. They will find they will find a perfectly normal heart when they do their pre-op evaluation before the surgery. I can agree with that. And the fact that she says God is able, you know, we all believe God is able. Is that going to get you results? 
No. God is able. Yeah, God is able. Okay? But God has God done it? Do you believe that God has given you a perfectly normal heart? Do you believe that God has healed you and given you a brand new heart, a new heart? Do you believe He has done it? By His stripes, you are healed. He has healed you. You are healed. Yeah, you, the starting point is God is able. The faith point is God has healed me. God has given me this. So you have to go from God is able to God has done it. And that's where I want to leave it. But I, the first part was to get rid of the fear. And I, I gave, uh, I added one more um, to this list. But if, if you're experiencing something that's causing you fear, um, so many times, I was going to look that up and I, did, I neglected to do that. The little bit of ADD thing going on because then I got downloading uh, uh, video software, you know, to be able to do these videos and cut them and slice them and splice them and, and stuff. Because the quick app doesn't, the quick app for the GoPro doesn't really uh, uh, get me to where I want to get on uh, on being able to edit. And so I downloaded it. And, See that? I got off track. Now I'm telling you about that. We're 18 minutes in. I didn't want to go 18 minutes, but it was a good story, and you're going to learn something, and it might build your faith. You know what I mean? Hallelujah. So let me just give you these scriptures about fear, because, I mean, I want to look up how many times that God says, fear not, fear not, fear not. Well, he says, fear not, fear not. Be of good courage. Be of good courage. Be of good courage. Fear not. Be of good courage. Fear not. Be of good courage. So we probably should take uh, uh, a real listen to the fact that he doesn't want us to be in fear and to be of good courage but let's just look at let's look at these scriptures and and build our and build up our hope which is our great our expectation our 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 concrete confident unwavering expectation that what God has said is and when we get to the is now we're taking action and that's our faith at least that's just how I see it some of you might not see it that way I mean but we're you know what I look at it this way we're all going to be corrected when we get to when we go to heaven and I'm just giving you the best part of what I know and what I see in the scriptures and how and how it works um but let me let me read these to you. Um, Deuteronomy thirty one eight, Psalm twenty three four, Psalm twenty seven one, Psalm thirty four four, Proverbs eighteen ten, Isaiah forty one ten. And really, my res my response is eliminate fear, move forward in the hope within you, which is Jesus giving you. The outward expression of faith, which will connect with grace in His love. This is the faith, grace, love connection. This is the faith, grace, love connection. Go back, get those scriptures, and read them. Get your hope, your expectation that, that what God has said is and when you get to that is, you're going to be able to move forward in faith, empowered by grace, experiencing the love of God, or what you are to say the glory. See, when you experience the love of the fullness of the love of God, you're experiencing the glory of God because the glory is the fullness of His presence. And that's a whole nother, that's a whole nother uh, subject right there. Um, but this is the faith grace love connection and just focus on the faith the hope love faith these three remain amen praise god um and that's it it's 22 minutes in um do me a favor like this video subscribe share it 
I'd appreciate it. I'm gonna learn. I'm going. I'm, I've got to learn and see how to put the the join function because you could just start to support these videos by just joining. By just joining, it joins you something. I haven't learned that yet, but you know we'll build this thing together. And I'm looking to build this thing together. And I just I had a prophetic word uh, today that I'm going to be changing this from Stephen Detweiler to Stephen Detweiler. Um, um, media missionary Stephen Detweiler media missionary and that was uh, something that was spoken to me today and I'm going to take that uh, to, to heart and that's what we're going to rename this channel is Stephen Detweiler media missionary I love you and we will see you in the next video